Right then, Trent Alexander-Arnold, perhaps the best right back on the game. Absolutely incredible. Henderson, where's he going to go with it? Swing it in. Of course he is. Oh, nice. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Wouldn't expect him to score. Set piece. And the set piece master, Virgil van Dijk. Ah, money. Nice. All right, Salah. <laughs> You're not going to beat him for pace. He's one of the fastest players on the game. Nice pass straight to Mane as well. Awesome. Nice goal that was. Nice goal. All right, then Haggy, Zungu, Kamara, left. There we go. To Barisic. Swing it in, mate. To where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, Kimar Roof. Nice. The left uh, wingers and the right wingers are so important on this tactic as well. Barisic, Kamara, straight through to Roof. Nice. Nice pass to Haggy. All right, then Memphis to Pie. Slimani, where are you going, mate? There we go. It can be. Strike it. Yeah, no. Oh, there, oh, no. Okay. That would have been an awesome goal, but it rebounded off the bar to Slimani. All right, it can be again. Right hand side to Dubois. Slimani, where are you going? Over the top to Paqueta. Great player as well, Paqueta. Nice, lovely goal. What's up everyone, Tucker Jobs and this is Football Manager 21 Tactic Testing. So the tactic you can see here is a 4-5-1-4-3-3, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, and it's called the We Al Oz Legend. Now it was created by Victor Hugo and the guy this was created for probably don't know who Victor Hugo is. So I've been told to say it's, uh, his name is Jimmy. <laughs> all right and he's uh, created it for him because he is a rangers fan obviously we all know that victor hugo if you know the guy isn't a rangers fan so he, he was quite reluctant in a way to uh, create a tactic that makes rangers overpowering to the max um but it's for him and he says to his friend that he's not allowed to play the game until this tactic comes out because he's on X xbox and no doubt is going to be rangers because uh, that's the team his friend supports and i'm guessing his friend's called al um, so yeah, this is for you, buddy. Um, but I can't just do a test with uh, Rangers. I've got to obviously do other teams as well. So uh, the teams involved are Liverpool, Fulham, uh, Leon, Strasbourg, Rangers, and Hamilton, Millwall, Plymouth, and Scunthorpe as well. And as you can see, it's a pretty standard tactic. Quite a lot of people use this uh, shape. So uh, yeah, let's go through the tactic. And especially if you're on Xbox, you cannot download. So you're going to have to copy all of the instructions over. Advance forward. Inside forward left. Inside forward right. Box to box midfielder. Deep line playmaker. Ball winner midfielder. Wing back left. Wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper set piece instructions corners defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and the uh, taker is aiming for the near post. Free kick instructions defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and the taker is aiming for mixed. Small chance of shot right and left, and that's mixed wide left and right and that's aiming for the far post and then indirect deep right and left aiming for the far post as well and then defending indirect deep left and right defending wide right and left and finally defending the small chance of shot left and right and then throwing instructions defending right and left and attacking left and right and he's using the beer wall 442 p R79. Don't know what that is, but as you can see, it's not the long throwing. So, did he? Do you think he might have used that routine and then cancelled the long throw? Maybe because you're just using mixed. Hmm. Could be. So yes, that is the set pieces. So it's a, it is an attacking mentality tactic. The uh, tactical style is custom. So you're going to want to go on a clean slate when you are creating this tactic. Uh, in possession, narrow attack and width with passing space on the approach play, overlapping on the left and right and play out defence. Slightly shorter passing directness with a higher tempo. Low crosses in the final third will work ball into box and run at the defence. In transition, counter press and counter and your goalkeeper's instructions to slow the pace down and to distribute to the fullbacks. Out of possession, you're using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement, a standard defensive line with force opposition outside on the defensive width. Uh, use tighter marking with extremely urgent pressing intensity, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and the get stuck in instruction is on. So there's the tactic. You know the teams. You have saw the highlights. If you're interested, carry on watching the video, and we'll get on all of the uh, all the results, basically, at the end of the season.
All right then, welcome back everyone. So let's get started as usual in the Premier League with Liverpool and Fulham. So Liverpool won the league. Well, yeah, it's it's pretty much guaranteed Liverpool win the league when you put an half decent tactic on them because they have a great squad. Um, and I pick Liverpool this time because I don't have PSG. I always say that I pick a great team, um, an elite team, basically PSG, Liverpool, something like that. I normally go with PSG uh, just so we can see how the tactic does. Fully, the full capabilities of this tactic. And uh, this time I chose Liverpool because I don't have PSG. Um, but Liverpool came first and Fulham are underdogs. Fulham are predicted to drop bottom of the table. And they actually came seventh, which is pretty decent considering this whole tactic, this whole creation was solely for Rangers. That's not too bad, is it, really? Um, top three players, then you've got Salah with 20 league goals. Not too bad. That's actually playing on that right-hand side. He isn't playing as a striker. Don't forget, if you actually play these certain players as strikers, they end up scoring so many goals, obviously. Salah on the right-hand side, it would have been a lot better if he was up forward, but it's the assistant that is doing the uh, team selection. So if you do choose this tactic and you want that pacey forward, um, then, yeah, probably have Salah up front because... We all know is a great advance forward as well. Um, no one in the average ratings assists player of the matches and Allison coming second on the clean sheet. So it's unfortunate that Fulham didn't get anyone in the top threes, but it's understandable as well. And uh, they finished in a decent position. So Liverpool's competitions and uh, European Champions Cup got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Chelsea. Uh, they won the FA Cup. They went out against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. Chelsea proper did Liverpool one, didn't they, this season? Um, yeah, twice knocked out competitions and they also won the Community Shield. So the FA Cup, they beat Man City in the final 1-0 and the Community Shield obviously beat Arsenal 4-1. So then still ended up with a treble, uh, Liverpool did, so that's pretty good. Uh, squad then added the uh, tactic get with the squad, so not too bad. I've, obviously, I've seen tactics where you get a lot more higher average ratings um, on all the squad, uh, obviously all above seven, but your best player was actually Andrew Robinson, the left back. Nice. Uh, four goals, 15 assists for him. Biggest goal scorers, you've got Salah with 26, Mane with 22, Firmino 16, and uh, Van Dijk with 10. And then biggest uh, creator D team, Robinson, Alexander-Arnold. So he left back, right back, very important. Um, Salah, Milner, and Mane again, 9, 10, 12, 15, and 15. Uh, team report then, let's have a look. The general performance on a whole, you're doing pretty good. At the end of the day, you only conceded 0.61. Goals, 2.32, a high amount of shots, decent all around. And if we go to the stats, 127 goals and 34 conceded. Now, 127, yes, it's a little bit low for someone like Liverpool. Uh, but you've got to think of the tactic. It's not a two-striker system, even though you have got the inside forwards. Um, and sometimes, I think you actually struggle um, with Firmino. You don't you don't score as lot when Firmino's up front for some reason. It's all about getting that pace up front. So Mane or Salah or a two-striker system, get them up front. But this tactic did absolutely fantastic because you only conceded 34 goals in all competitions. 34. That's very, very low, especially for a team being tested in the Premier League. So, yeah, well done there to Liverpool. Fulham then. Fulham are the underdogs. Seventh position, qualified for Europe. They've got European football next season. They're uh, going to get a little bit more or a little bit better reputation, as you would say. Uh, so, yeah, well done to them. Obviously, it's a shame that they never got any players in the top threes, not counting yellow cards. How do they do in the competitions? Uh, FA Cup, quarterfinal, not too bad. Went out to Cardiff. That's a winnable match, definitely. And then the Carabao Cup got knocked out by Arsenal. Squad, how did the tactic do? So only one player actually got above seven on the average ratings. Don't forget, guys, I had to test a lot of teams because that's what my channel does. But this was actually solely created for Wee Al um, and for his Rangers team for when he finally starts playing football manager on his Xbox. And I hope he really enjoys the game. Uh, so, yeah, um, Adara Boyo uh, was your best player, getting five goals at four assists, no one else below them. Biggest goal scorers, Mitrovic, obviously, striker with 16 goals, two assists. Biggest creators, no one got double digits, uh, but your best creator was Luckman with eight assists. Team report. So, even though there weren't big numbers, not fantastic, not obviously amazing party standard numbers, but 
you're doing pretty well on the general performances. Yes, your pass completion is a little bit low, but you are getting decent shots per game. Expected uh, goals against is decent. Obviously, you're still on the outer ends of the averages for conceding, uh, as well as the goals per game and expected goals. So um, it's not too bad, definitely for Fulham. Definitely for a tactic that wasn't meant for Fulham. So, yeah. Analyst report, the full numbers then, is 63 goals, very low, 50 conceded, that's actually pretty good for who they are, but 63 you would probably want a bit more than that, um, obviously everyone likes goals, so yeah, maybe, I don't know, what you could do, get a better striker, get a better, better inside forwards, I've noticed that obviously Liverpool really took off with the uh, <coughs> Mane and Salah on the left and right, but they are amazing inside forward. So yeah, that's uh, that's them. How did the Premier League stats go overall? If we have a look on attacking, here we go. So goals then. Liverpool came first with 88 league goals, and then Fulham were only ninth. That's not too bad actually. Uh, goals per game, it would be the same. Expected goals. Uh, so Fulham were expected to get more goals than they actually did, um, but. It don't matter. They, they still finished in a decent position. Cross completed. Uh, goals from corners then. Here we go. Liverpool, 19 goals from corners. Wow. Nine more than second place Arsenal. Fantastic. Uh, Fulham came fifth. Uh, goals from direct free kicks. Obviously, that can be down to just the players. Liverpool there with eighth. Fulham and joint 11th. Goal from indirect free kicks. Liverpool coming second. And Fulham coming fifth. Now, if we go down to shots on target, how are we doing there? Third and eighth for Fulham. Shots for clear-cut chances. All right, Fulham actually came above Liverpool with 33 clear-cut chances. They just didn't have the quality to finish it. <laughs> uh, conversion rate, yeah, doing very well. Conceded then. Liverpool came second. Only conceded 23 league goals. Look at that, Man City 19. Such a great defence that you've got. Uh, Fulham, though, for underdogs, coming sixth. Only conceding 45. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Amazing. Well done, Fulham, and well done, Liverpool, as well. So let's go to uh, France, then, with Leon Strasbourg. How did they do? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping Leon could have uh, nipped the league, but unfortunately, PSG was just too good. Too good, and they literally finished 22 points above us. It's a shame, but it's PSG, isn't it? So, Lyon came second. Strasbourg, though, they are a mid-table team, coming fifth, qualified for Europe, so well done to them. Top three players is uh, Lyon's... Who's that, then? What's his name? Codiweri? I don't know, something like that. You know what I'm like. Coming third with goals with 16. Uh, Dubois coming second on the average rating for Lyon. And then we've got Dubois and Thomas, or Thomason. There we go. Um, both getting... 13 assists, coming joint first, and then obviously Lopez for Leon, the goalkeeper, coming first with clean sheets, 20 of them. So Leon's competitions then, uh, quarterfinal, got to the, uh, yeah, they lost out to PSG, they would do, it's PSG at the end of the day, incredible team, and that's why I always test them, because they just show big numbers, and look full, what you could get, what you could get. Um, so let's go to the squad then out of the squad do the average ratings all right not again for a top team not as many as i was hoping but uh not too bad obviously best player being dubois with two goals and 13 assists biggest goal scorers for leon was Kadawari and Akambi, and then we've got Depay as well, 19, 15, and 10. And then biggest creators of the team was dubois with everyone else getting below double digits team report not too bad. Obviously, it's not going to show nothing like PSG normally do, but I still think that's pretty good. Two goals per game, you're expected to score um, a little bit less than that, 1.98. You're obviously still conceding less than a goal per game, which is half decent. Shots, 16.29. Expected goals against you, 0.74. Uh, so you're actually expected to concede less than what you are. Um, decent on the pass completion, uh, tackles one ratio, everything like that. And then the full numbers are 85 goals, which is... I think that's pretty low. I think that is pretty low, definitely for Leon. Uh, but it was 34 goals conceded, which is very low. So that's that's the good side of it. So well done there. It's a shame you're lacking a little bit on the attacking side of things. But don't forget, this is a Rangers tactic. I'm just testing it on everybody else just to make the video a little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, so well done to Leon there. It's unfortunate that they came second, but still a decent position. Strasbourg then, they are a mid-table team. Coming fifth, absolutely fantastic. You've seen a couple of players getting in the top threes. Competitions then, oh, gutted. Uh, French Cup, though the runners-up obviously lost out to PSG. 
they're going to win everything, aren't they? Uh, so that's, they've actually done very well, I think, in my opinion. Uh, if we go to the squad then, only three players getting some decent uh, ratings. We best play being at Mitrovic with five goals, one assist. Biggest goal scorers was Diallo, 15. Uh, Warris, all right, with 13. And then if we have a look at the biggest creating team, Thomerson and Prisic, all right, 14 and 11 for them. Team report then. On a whole, you still did half decent. I've seen better, but that is still half decent. Pass completion's a little bit low, but everywhere else you're doing fine on the averages. And if we go to the full stats, 87, which is sometimes for the lower teams, you're looking roughly to 90 to about 105, something around there. Um, so it's not too bad. Uh, 49 conceded those. Um, you've only played 44. You conceded 49, you don't really want to concede more than you played, but still, 49 isn't too bad. Obviously, you've probably got PSG, you've probably lost 5, 6, 7 nil to them, and that's what's bumping that up. It's a shame, but it happens. Uh, but yeah, regardless of that, well done to uh, Strasbourg, decent position, qualified for Europe. Now, the one that we're waiting for is Rangers and Hamilton. All right, this is what the whole tactic was made for. How did they do? Yeah, Rangers didn't just win. They won with style. This whole tactic is made for them. And look at that. Celtic, 81 points. Rangers, 105 points. You finished 24 points above second place. You pretty much nearly double their goal difference as well hamilton are the underdogs hamilton are predicted bottom of the table so they finished seventh which is off decent all right they finished in decent position uh, but don't forget this is for rangers and definitely is for rangers all right morelos um 29 goals in the league and then you got anderson there with 21 for hamilton coming second barisic uh coming second for average rating for rangers 7.5 tavernier and haggy both for rangers on the assist first and third barisic and ryan kent again both for rangers first and third on player of the matches and then you've got mcgregor there coming first for rangers with clean sheet 17 so rangers then Let's have a look at the competitions. How did they do? Euro Cup got knocked out in the second round. Scottish Cup, third round. Celtic beat them in the Betfred Cup semi-final by Celtic. So even though, unfortunately, it's a shame they didn't win any silverware, they absolutely dominated. All right, at dominated is a big word here. They did. Um, only drew three, lost one, and 105 points, guys. Just remember that. Um, absolutely fantastic. And if we have a look at the schedule... Look at the start to the season. Look at the start to that season. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> squad then. How did the squad get on? Not as much as I thought. I thought there would be a lot more greens in there. But your best player was at Barisic with six goals, 14 assists. Biggest goal scorer, uh, Morelos, all right, 38. Kent, Haggy. And then we've got Tavernier, Goldston, Roof, all right, 11, 11, 12, 14, 21. Rangers absolutely loved it this season. Biggest creating team, Tavernier, Haggy, Barisic, 14, 18, 20, Kent, Roof as well. So all those players, pretty much the same players, were all supplying and all scoring for each other, which is absolutely incredible. Team report, yeah, you're going to absolutely smash it on you. Over three goals, you're conceding just 0. 0.6. Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere you look here, you are outside the averages, doing very well indeed. So that's absolutely amazing for Rangers. Well done. Uh, full numbers then is 147 goals and only 40 conceded. So that's fantastic. And when you look at 40 conceded, that's in all competition. So they're going to concede a lot less than that. We'll have a look at that in a second. But Hamilton first. They are the underdogs, finished seventh. Obviously, they're just if you're looking at, at why they're on 55 points and they're on 51, they're on 55, you think, what's happened here? Is because when it comes to a certain point of the season, at the end of the season, obviously the league breaks up into two, and then one has like a a relegation playoff, and the other one has a championship playoff. Obviously, who won the league, and they all play amongst themselves, um, and that's how it works. Obviously, Hamilton doing very well in the unfortunately the relegation playoff, but they were nowhere near going to get relegated. They were just in there because they were the best team, and they just finished below that line basically everywhere else uh, finished above the line and they had their own little tournament at the end obviously if you've played in scotland before you know exactly uh, what i mean there so don't worry too much about those numbers and how confusing they might look um, but competitions for hamilton scottish cup fourth round celtic in the betfred cup second round got knocked out by rangers go to the squad then only two players uh, got a decent rating 7.08 and 01 anderson and hamilton 26 goals uh, for him and three assists he was your best player biggest goals scorers after anderson was at templeton with nine so it was literally a, a one-man team 
basically. <laughs> Biggest created in team, Templeton and Smith and Trafford, 13, 11 and 11. Team report then for Hamilton. Again, don't forget, guys, these are the drop dead underdogs. That is still very good general performance averages going all around there. And then if we have a look at the stats, um, 82 goals and then 70 conceded. So, again, not too bad on the goals, actually, 82. That's pretty good for who they are. Um, 70 is a little high, but again, they are literally the worst team in the league, technically. So, uh, they're going to they're gonna concede quite a lot. So, if we go back to um, Leon and Strasbourg, obviously, because I didn't look at this. If we go to the stats of the teams detailed... Goals then. So even though PSG absolutely dominated, uh, Leon and Strasbourg came second and third with goals, so they did very well done. Goals per game would be the same. Expected goals as well, the same. Cross completion. Goals from corners. Strasbourg coming first with 10th, and Leon coming joint third. Goals from indirect free kicks. Uh, no, direct free kicks, sorry. Strasbourg coming second. Leon all the way down there, look. And then indirect, Leon and Strasbourg second and joint third. And if we go down to shots on target, it's still very high up there, look. Shots four, still high. So they've done very well when it comes uh, to uh, numbers. All right, when, it, when, that, when this is what you look at, all right, they've actually done very well indeed. And then defending, look. Leon coming second. We're only conceding 30 goals. Strasbourg coming 17, uh, not 17th. 7th and then conceding 45 so if we go drop down again to rangers we've seen all of them let's go to the scottish premier league let's have a look at the team's detail then form goals then so rangers came first with 115 goals absolutely dominated second place celtic and then hamilton coming third uh, with 66 goals per game would be the same expected goals again the same penalties taken uh, goals from corners rangers 14 hamilton came third uh, with six goals from corners from free kick, Celtic coming first. They've probably got a better free kick taker, obviously. Uh, Rangers coming second, Hamilton fourth. So absolutely incredible there. Pass completed, clear cut chances created. Rangers first with 43, Hamilton second with 34. Shots four. Look at that. Rangers 732. Shots on target, Rangers. All right. Finishing what? 44. 44 above Celtic there, so nice one. And then if we go to do uh, conceded, Rangers coming first there with only conceding 23. All right, only 23. And Hamilton, even though they are technically the worst team in the league, they didn't finish at the bottom, which is half decent. It would have been nice to feel higher, um, but still pretty good. All right, it was ninth, so uh, yeah, it's a shame, but ninth isn't too bad. And you can see how tight it is here. Look, they could have jumped up maybe a few more if they had a couple of decent games. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, they're underdogs, so uh, just you got to forgive them a little bit. All right, so yeah, well done to uh, them. Now we can have a little look at Millwall, Plymouth, and Scunthorpe. How did they do? Uh, Millwall uh, came fifth, all right? They predicted 14th, so fifth isn't bad. Uh, it would have been nice if they actually won the playoffs, but playoffs are like cups, aren't they? You never know what's going to happen with them. It's so unpredictable, so hard in testing as well to finish uh, in decent places on playoffs. Uh, but still, they managed to get fifth. So well done to them with a couple of players in the top three, or one player in the top three scoring 23 goals. Dropped down another league to Plymouth. All right, They also came third, missed out in the playoffs. They are a mid to low table team. And uh, it's a shame, but still very good with a couple of players in the top threes. Look, 32 league goals for Niall Ennis. Um, and then if we drop down again to Scunthorpe, this time Scunthorpe did get promoted. Scunthorpe are predicted 14th. So again, a mid to low team. Well done to them for finishing second. Absolutely fantastic. And once again, guys, here's the tactic. The we Out Oz Legend by Victor Hugo, otherwise known as Jimmy. Uh, so well done. Um, hopefully the guy that this tactic is for enjoys it, has a good time, like likes the game if he hasn't actually played it on any other format because it's got it on xbox but yeah hopefully you enjoy it mate hopefully everyone else enjoys it as well if you take your fancy to it maybe you want to download it maybe you fancy being rangers and being um maybe trying to be that dominant force in scotland then the world this might be a tactic for you to get started with hopefully you have a, a an amazing time basically uh, so don't forget guys to download obviously the links will be in the description uh, it will send you to the discord where you will find this tactic on upload tactics section of my discord channel and then just click the little pin at the top and then you'll see a massive list of tactics that i've obviously i've done videos for and then uh, just click click this one um so yeah have fun enjoy your game enjoy your saves and i'll see you when i see you i'm tucker jobs bye